Welcome to Red Tech Channel, a new way to learn. So today in MRI, I am going to discuss about the GRE sequence with the help of diagram only. Please watch the previous video before watching this. The link is given in the description. So let's begin. GRE sequence, basically gradient eco sequence. In this, basically less flip angle or you can say flip angle is less than 90 degree or you can say that between 10 to 80 degree in this basically the flip angle of hydrogen proton is less than 90 degree lie between 10 to 80 degree you can understand that's it and then we go through the another the rf pulse we put the rf pulse with less than 90 degree and the three important things is there the slice selection phase encoding and the for readout frequency encoding gradient these three are used only by the gradient you can say that for slice selection also we use slice selection gradient and at a uh, small interval or you can say at a certain interval we apply again the less than 90 degree rf pulse which is time of repetition you can say that in the earlier videos we have studied about the spinico modification and another also in that sequence basically the 180 degree or 90 degree r pulse basically used but this is typically different from them in this we use only between only angle which is lie between 10 to 80 degree and you can see here the read out which is basically a vital role in getting information from the hydrogen proton of our human body to read out the signals we apply the frequency encoding gradient that basically the vital role in getting information you also understand or you can say you can remember this also and the every gradient coil places their role in getting information like slice selection for slice selection and phase encoding for phase and to read out which we used frequency encoding gradient and here the term are given which is the uh, ts te and tr as we as you know that tr basically the time of repetition which is lie between the two rf pulse and in this in this sequence we use the less flip angle so at a less flip angle the hydrogen proton recovery its state very easily or you can say very fastly so we require uh, sooner the next rf pulse for getting information so the time between the two rf pulse is basically less than as compared to spinico and another so by this we can understand that uh, the time between the two rf pulse is reduced so the scan time automatically reduced here the term is tr basically uh, between the two rf pulse the time of repetition and the ts time of signal and te basically time of echo so that's all for this video i hope you clear out all the points do subscribe if you like and thanks for watching